everyone, Daniel here from the Next Edition Podcast. Uh, today's video, uh, I'm taking a look at the new trailer for uh, an A24 movie, The Tragedy of Macbeth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let me just read the information they have listed. Uh, from writer-director Joel Cohen, uh, no mention of Shakespeare as a writer. Uh, so <laughs> Joel Cohen, uh, starring Denzel Washington, Francis McDormand, Corey Hawkins, Brendan Gleeson, and Harry Melling. The tragedy, the tragedy of Macbeth, streaming uh, in Apple TV on January 14th in theaters on December 25th. So is Macbeth a Christmas movie? I don't know, uh, but yeah, A24. I mean, they they put out some really weird weird stuff, uh, but we like covering it on the podcast here. Uh, we like talking about it on the channel. Uh, you may have heard from movies like Moonlight, Lady Bird, Ex Machina, The Witch, uh, Eighth Grade, Hereditary, Minari. Uncut Gems. We saw a trailer for Lamb not too recent, like not too long ago, which fucking broke my brain. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to check this out because, I mean, come on, is Denzel Washington doing Shakespeare? Uh, so let's go take a look at the trailer. We'll come back and see what it's all. About. All right, here we go. The trailer for the tragedy of, Ma of Macbeth. Apple puts out great stuff. I'm glad they're working with A24 to distribute their films. Oh, snap. Okay. It's long. Four. All right. Four by three. By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. This way comes. R for violence. That's it. Just fucking violence. All right. So, I mean, that looked very interesting. Before we go into full details, uh, for those that don't know, the Macbeth or the, the tragedy of Macbeth is a tragedy uh, written by William Shakespeare. Um, it is... I'm reading the Wikipedia because I, I've never read Macbeth, so I don't really know what it's about. But it, overall, a brave Scottish general named Macbeth receives a prophecy from a trio of witches, which is kind of what we were hearing in the in the trailer, uh, that he will one day become the king of Scotland. Consumed by ambition and spurred to action by his wife, Macbeth murders King Duncan and takes the Scottish throne for himself. He is then racked with guilt and paranoia, Forced to commit more and more murders to protect himself from enmity and suspicion, he soon becomes a tyrannical ruler. ruler. The bloodbath and consequent civil war swiftly take Macbeth and Lady Macbeth into the realm of madness and death. Holy shit, this sounds... Uh, why have I never read this? Uh, okay, I can see why it's rated R for violence now. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, I mean... Anybody that's read Macbeth kind of probably knows how it ends. I have no idea, but I have an idea now that I've read the summary. Um, but, man, I mean, the, the trailer looks good. I don't know much about Joel Cohen, uh, but like I said, A24, they've always, they, they at least, even if you don't like the movies, I think they make interesting movies. Uh, and Apple TV, what they lack in quantity of content, they make up more than... Uh, they make up for in in qual in quant in quality, uh, so yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, this looks cool. Uh, the four by three format may may uh, bother some people. I don't know. Maybe that's just for the trailer. We'll see. Um, Denzel, I'm assuming he's playing Macbeth. Uh, so yeah, uh, I wonder if uh, uh, Francis Mc Francis McDormand is Lady Macbeth then. That would make sense. Uh, but yeah, let me know. What did you think of uh, this little small trailer? It was very short, too. I would have thought we were going to a little bit more, but maybe just a nice, nice teaser by uh, A24 and Apple TV. So yeah, I'm excited for this. Um, they should make more uh, Shakespeare plays into movies. So let me know. Maybe I just haven't seen them all. I've only, my favorite, I'll say this right now, it is. Uh, Romeo and Juliet with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. Romeo plus Juliet. 
I was, uh, I would think I was at the right age to watch that movie and for it just to kind of capture everything that I believe Shakespeare to be. I also think it's really cool that they just like they didn't really change the the dialogue much, if at all. Like, they really comes from the play. Uh, I think acting in that, I think it's called iambic pentameter, the cadence that they speak. Anyways, uh, you guys know more about that stuff than I do. I always used the spark notes uh, when I was in high school because we did not have Wikipedia as readily available. Uh, so, but thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Let me know what your favorite uh, Shakespeare adaptation is on film. Uh, or maybe on TV show, maybe they adapted something to a TV show uh, that we can check out. But until then, remember not to say the name of the play uh, if you're in a play for Macbeth. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.